Hey friend, welcome. I am getting ready to ship some stuff out tomorrow morning. I like to get all my shipping ready the night before. I ran a sale. <laughs> I've, I've run sales before, but I ran like a lot of stuff for kind of deep markdown. I don't know, maybe if you're a reseller, I'm not sure. I, I've heard and I feel that March has just been really slow. And I was kind of talking it over with my husband and he was like, well, what can you do to get stuff moving? So I'd had some stuff on sale throughout the month and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna throw some deep discounts on there. He was talking tonight and it was kind of like, you know, the old adage, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Basically, you know, if I can sell something for $30 in three months or I can sell it for $15 today, isn't it better to sell it for $15 today? So that's what I tried. So I, on the 23rd of March, had zero sales, zero. So on the 23rd, I marked down through the weekend. So I think the 23rd was Wednesday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, tonight, Sunday night, I've had hats 20% off. I've had sweaters, fleece, and flannel 30% off. I had jeans 30% off blazers 40% off, plush 30% off, and then I've been uh, doing like an outerwear clearance and I've gradually gotten it down to now at 40% off. I also did coupons for the very first time and I had an additional 10% off when you spent $50 or more as a public coupon. So anybody could use that. And then I had, I sent out to my repeat customers a 20% off coupon off of anything. So <laughs> I had zero people use those coupons, but I did set them up and sent them out and was hoping for the best. But I had a few people do some of the sales. So I'm gonna show you what's sold. I've had 22 items sell in the last four days. So after a full day of nothing, <laughs> 22 items in four days sounds pretty good. I'm really happy and I've had a, quite a few things that have sold outside of the sale and th three, <laughs> and I've had three items that were pretty good profit items. So welcome to my shipping station. Tonight it moves around my house variously. Tonight it's on my living room floor and we're gonna ship. I'm gonna show you the first thing, which is so weird. I still, sometimes I just can't believe what people buy online. This is a space maker. Yep, it's a pencil box. It's even like kind of dirty. I need to wipe it out a little bit. This sold. For $17.92. That's how much the buyer paid for a pencil box. It blows my mind. I don't know. Okay. I don't know where I found it. I don't know how much I paid for it. I guarantee I didn't pay more than a dollar. Uh, after fees and shipping, my profit on a pencil box is $10.78. I have three more in my store. Okay. I think I forgot to introduce myself. If you don't know, I'm Jen. I'm a part-time new-ish reseller on eBay. And I'm just kind of doing this to earn some extra money for my family. For that, I just have a recycled prime box. We get a pretty regular uh, thing from Amazon in these boxes, so I have a lot of them. But look how perfect. It's like the perfect size. It's gonna work out. This is an LL Bean Henley. It's just a gray thermal Henley shirt. I found this at my favorite thrift store for 88 cents. The buyer paid 19.90, and after fees and shipping, my profit is $11 and 91 cents. I don't believe that this was in my sale. So that's cool. No sale items yet. 
This is a first class item, so it is just going to go into a poly mailer. This is a little Jordache jean jacket, and it was my daughter's. It's a 3T, I believe it's little. And the buyer paid $10.95. This was part of my sale, and then I believe I accepted a like $5 offer on it. After fees and shipping, my profit is still $4.74. Since I didn't have any cost of goods into it, I mean, I did at one point I bought it, but it was a long time ago. <laughs> so, that's that. It is also going to go just into a poly mailer. This is a My Little Pony, just plush. She's yellow. She's kind of getting blown out here by my light, but she was part of my sale, and I somehow don't know how much or where I got her. She was um, in like my stash of things that I soaked because she was pretty dirty and she came out really, really nice. But somehow in the process of putting her in my stash of things that to soak, I didn't actually put her in my inventory system. So I paid less than probably a dollar. Most likely I bought her at the bin. Do you know where we got her? Probably the bins. Probably the bins. I think I found her at the bins. Yeah, I think my daughter found her at the bins. So we probably paid, I mean, realistically, like less than a dollar but average cost of goods was probably a dollar and a half ish and the buyer paid eleven dollars and eighteen cents after fees and shipping my profit I'm guessing is five dollars and sixty nine cents I am gonna wrap her in tissue paper and put her in a poly mailer I recently just bought a really like ginormous poly mailer specifically for this purpose I did just buy them on Amazon Nothing fancy. I just searched like, I don't know what size they are. 10 by 14. They gotta be bigger than that. 14 by something. Uh, <laughs> she's gonna go for a trip in a poly mailer. This is a Zaya is the brand. It's just a hoodie. It's like pink. It has kind of raw seams on it. And this is an activewear that's actually like an MLM brand. And I found a bunch of these pieces at my local Goodwill when I didn't have much time to shop and was looking for 20 items that I could sell for $25 or more. And this one actually did sell for $25 or more. So the buyer, I had it listed at $30, $37.97, I believe. So the buyer paid a total of $47.42. I bought it at the Goodwill for $4.05. And after fees and shipping, my profit is $30.39. So I'll link that haul up here. But uh, I'm, I'm pleased with this selling as much as it did. And again, it was not part of my sale. It's a linen blend like shirt, blazer, Spartel is the brand, which I, I have no idea what that is. I mostly got it because it's a linen blend. And I just thought, I like big floral prints like that. I just thought it was kind of cool and that someone else might like it as well, which turned out to be the case. I did buy this at my favorite thrift store for 70 cents. The buyer paid $21.53. After fees and shipping, my profit is incorrect on this page. <laughs> uh, seven, eight, nine, uh, about $10. So not bad. About $10 in profit on this shirt. This was part of my sale. It was listed as a blazer, I believe, like a lightweight blazer. You may see that I write on my packages. That's because I don't have a thermal printer or a printer of any kind for that matter. And um, I use QR codes and I actually did a video on that and I'll link that up here. Um, it's really simple for me and I really enjoy using it. Sometimes I'm at the post office for a while, but 
It's okay. My post office ladies have been really, really cool about it. Oh, this thing. You're not even going to believe it. <laughs> so this is a denim jacket that is pretty much fully sequined. It does have some sequins missing and it smells like smoke. I disclosed all of that. I can't really um, wash it because it's, you know, sequined. So I need to lint roll the heck out of it because it's real bad. But you're not even going to believe how much this sold for. It sold for $80.40 not even joking. I one day was on my way to the post office and went by an estate sale sign and it was like a Tuesday. It was really random and it was just a woman had a bunch of stuff out in her yard and I bought four items that day. I had eight dollars in cash on me and she was like sure I'll take eight dollars. She had um said ten to start with and I had intended on giving her ten. I thought I had more cash with me. So she said she would take it for $8. So um, there was one item that I'm gonna have to soak. So I didn't actually even count it in my cost of goods. So I averaged my cost of goods for $2.67. This sold for $80.40. After she, fees and shipping, my profit is $53.52 on this amazing jacket. <laughs> I love finding stuff like this because I it, stuff like this sells. I don't know. It's just the other thing I bought there was like a embroidered with like hot air balloons. I don't know. I'm so I just I just like stuff like that. I think it's interesting and fun and it seems to sell. So this is going to go in a priority mailbox. This comes free from the post office. This is a 1092. I kind of wish I had like a 1095 or 1097. I think those are a little bit bigger, but that honestly, that fits just fine. I don't think I put my sticker on it. I like to put a little thank you sticker. I don't think that that's necessary at all, but it's just something that I enjoy doing. is a Chico's top and it's a size two. It's like a long tunic uh, roll tab. I'm not going to undo it because I'll end up with dog hair on it. <laughs> um, but this sold for $20 even and I don't think it was part of my sale, but I did get this at the Goodwill for $3.15, which I mean, that's not terrible. My profit was $9.14, so I'll take that. It is going to go first class again, so just in a poly mailer. I have a pair of Adidas. Uh, these are indoor soccer cleats. They were my daughter's. They're pretty well trashed. I mean, there's plenty of wear left in them, but they are pretty beat up looking. But I sold these. These were... Part of my sale, I believe, I had my shoes 30% off. Hmm, I forget. I said it earlier, right? So the buyer paid $37.22 after fees and shipping and zero cost of goods because they belonged to us. Uh, my profit was $24.22, which, holy smokes, that's pretty good, actually. <laughs> I am fairly certain I bought them on eBay for her when she needed them like a year and a half ago. So I have a shoe box from the USPS priority box. I will wrap these in wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree and put them in the shoe box. And that's as simple as that. I do weigh everything as I'm photographing it and then I have take a picture of the weight and then I have that ready to go as I'm putting my listings in and I know how much the item weighs, and then I do calculated shipping. Second pair of shoes, these are born, and they're just like clogs. They're in really, really good shape. 
I bought these at my favorite thrift store for 88 cents. <sighs> Blows my mind every time. Uh, the buyer did pay $23.75, which is an amazing deal. I did have my shoes on sale, so this was part of that. After fees and shipping, my profit is $8.17, which, you know, I would like my profits to be more than $10 for each item, but when I'm moving this much stuff pretty fairly quickly, uh, you know, and I paid 88 cents, so 88 cents into $8, that's 10 times my money. I'm quite happy with that. These are just going again in another shoe box. I do rip my paper bags and just kind of stuff them in the end just so that the shoes aren't like sloshing around in there and banging against the box. Just kind of gives it a little more stability, I think. This is a Lucky Brand sweatshirt, and I do believe it is vintage. Maybe not. Anyway, it's a Lucky Brand sweatshirt. It's pretty basic, just like a raglan. And, but Lucky Brand sells very quickly for me, not for a lot of money. I do believe this was part of my sale because it was, you know what? I'm not sure that it was. Unless fleece or flannel was in my description. I don't remember off the top of my head. It did sell for $16 and 45 cents. I don't know if I've said yet. When I say what the total is, it's the total plus the shipping. So what the buyer paid in total minus the tax because the tax doesn't come to me, but the total that the buyer paid for the item plus the shipping, eBay takes care of the tax. So this person's total was $16.45 after fees and shipping. My profit is $8.61 because I had no cost of goods in this. This came from my stepmom. She sent me a bunch of stuff a few months ago and then just recently gave me a bunch more stuff and uh, to either use or resell. And this was something that unfortunately didn't fit anyone who liked it. <laughs> I liked it, but it didn't fit so. Um, it is going first class. Yes, it's going first class in a poly mailer. These are a pair of Carhartt jeans. They are pretty big, just like carpenter jeans. They're 46 by something or other carpenter on there. So I did have all my denim on sale for 30% off. So these sold for $29.93 and after fees and shipping and my cost of goods, I bought them at a local thrift store for $5 and my profit was $11.83. These are pretty heavy, so they can't go first class. I don't, you know, I may actually put them in a box, but oftentimes I will put jeans in the a priority Tyvek mailer. It's like a envelope. It's kind of, um, water resistant, or I will put them in a padded flat rate if it's a smaller size and will fit in there. There's no way these are going to fit. And in fact, I think I'm going to go around the box to put these in. This is a Lauren Ralph Lauren linen. Linen. <laughs> it's a theme today. It has gold buttons. It has a roll tab sleeves, I believe which I didn't think were really popular, but no, it doesn't. Just regular, it's a long sleeve linen button up blouse. And it is, it does have full tap sleeves. Uh, that has the button on the sleeve and then like a thing so you can wear them three quarter length or long sleeve if you wish. This is gonna go out first class in a poly mailer again. So this I bought at a local thrift store. I paid $6.30. I probably won't ever do that again. I'm learning, I had heard once upon a time that Lauren Ralph Lauren was like the best Ralph Lauren line to sell, to resell. And that is, I while I am reselling it and it is selling for me, I should not have paid $6.03. Had I found this at my favorite thrift store or at the bins, this would be great. But $6.30 was just 
too much to pay in my opinion the buyer only paid $23.22. So after fees and shipping, my profit is $8.02. I didn't even double my money. So th that just, for me, isn't worth it. But had I paid a dollar or two, <laughs> $8 would be just fine. Does that make sense? Is my, I don't know. I feel like maybe my theory is incorrect, but that's just kind of how I feel about things. Another item from my stepmom, she has this really cool collection of like miniature shoes. She has a collection of real shoes too that is pretty killer. But uh, these are little, they're called Just the Right Shoe is the brand. But she had, they're all vintage and they're just like, these two were boots. I think she sent me 20 of them. This is winter one I was lotting them up in like lots of two not cool so fun and uh, putting them yeah so I was putting it in lots of two and this one sold rather quickly actually this set sold for $39.45 this was not part of my sale today so after fees and shipping and my zero cost of goods thanks to my stepmom my profit was $25.33 Unfortunately, this is more than a pound, and so the priority mailboxes, mailboxes, yeah, well, I guess, the priority boxes, this is a seven by seven by six, box number four, and I think that this will fit pretty perfectly. I'm gonna wrap these up a little bit in some of my wrapping paper and hopefully get it so it doesn't jiggle around. These are resin. Don't think they're super breakable, but the heel kind of has me a little worried. This one will be in the box, will be just fine. These are a pair of Nike joggers, and they are little, like a size small, but they didn't seem like a kid small. I don't know. I put measurements because I felt like I just wasn't sure. They do have pockets, but they're kind of swishy and they're real lightweight. I did pay $1.70 for those at the bins. That was my cost of goods. When I say cost of goods, uh, whatever I spent, I divide by the amount of items that I have and that's my average cost of goods. The buyer paid $21.12, so my profit is $12.61. This is a purse I got at that same bins trip, so I spent $1.70 on it. The brand is Maruka, and I wouldn't have thought to look that up other than it says made handmade in Boulder, Colorado. So I looked it up, and sure enough, it was selling for, I don't remember what the comps were at that point, but around $30. Uh, of course, I was running a sale on purses and bags, and so the buyer paid $70. No, the buyer paid $30.70, and after fees and shipping, my profit on that is $15.62. I am going to put it in one of the Tyvek mailers. The buyer chose priority shipping, so I'm going to honor that, or else it's real lightweight, so I probably would have just put it in a poly mailer. This hat I found at a different Ben's trip. Ben's trip. Ben's, as I'm saying the Ben's, I realized uh, it's the Goodwill outlet. So I paid $1.12 for this. And I wasn't sure what that was, but apparently it's the Minnesota Twins. I don't understand how TC translates to Minnesota Twins, but um, my Google search tells me that that was correct. I don't get it. It's a fitted hat, which is not exactly what I'm looking for, but I like to get hats for real cheap, especially if I can get them for, you know, under a dollar, because they're easy for me to photograph, they're easy for me to ship, and they are they just don't take up much space for storage. So I did buy 100 boxes. I think I spent 30, it was under $40 for 100 boxes. And so now I have to sell 100 hats, right? Uh, but I believe they are six by six by 
four. No, wait, here, eight by six by four. It's right there on the box. Um, I did find someone's Amazon link and used that to buy them, but they work pretty perfectly. I don't like to ship these, um, you know, in something flat because it can mess up the bill and especially these that have like the kind of domed heads. So these do, you know, take a little maneuvering, but they get down in there pretty, pretty perfectly. And I will wrap some tissue paper around it and put my sticker and that's that. If you are enjoying this video, would you please do me a favor and hit that like, that thumbs up button. I'm gonna show you these pair of Toms. Toms, I, I like them personally. I think they're super fun. I don't know that they resell great. These uh, obviously did because I have them and I'm shipping them. Uh, these are super cute. They're like color blocked. Uh, the lady at church that has given me so many things, mostly purses and some other things, gave me these shoes to sell as well. My shoes were all on sale this week. So the buyer paid $17.65. My profit after fees and shipping is $6.71. When I have um, heavier weight shoes that are a smaller size, I like to ship them in a padded flat rate. Um, I know some people don't like to ship shoes in an envelope, you know, thinking that they might get crushed by something heavier, but you know, for $17, I just feel like it's worth it to not, you know, pay the extra to ship it in a box. One thing my husband and I were just chatting about, you know, this sale seems to have gone really well for me and I definitely want to keep the momentum going. And I was just kind of wondering if there were certain times of the week or certain ways to do sales. And if you are a reseller and you have some insight, I would really love to know like, when do you run sales? When do sales work best for you? If you would leave me a comment and help me, I would really appreciate it. I, I just, I'm so new with this and I'm just trying to keep the momentum going. These are a pair of Levi's 559s and I don't know, they're just pretty nice. They're not perfect shape, but, but you know, jeans. <laughs> Uh, my jeans were on sale this week. These sold for $23.88. I bought them at the bins for $1.12. I believe that was my first bin strip. Um, actually, I have a haul from that and I'll link it up here. And so my profit after fees and shipping is $11.43. I'm going to put these in a Tyvek mailer. The next thing that sold is a Victoria's Secret bra. I said not that long ago that I was done doing bras and then I've bought like seven since then. <laughs> but I found some really good ones and you know, it's just hard to leave profit at the store <laughs> or wherever. So I did buy these at a yard sale, the Salvation Army yard sale that um, I can link that haul up there. It was real good. It was real good. My average cost of goods was 41 cents that day. So the buyer paid $25.95. Yeah, $25.95. I did not have a sale going on the bras. And so my profit was $16.77 after fees shipping and of course my cost of goods. I do use the same boxes that I ship the hats in for my bras, again, to protect the cups. And, uh, you know, just to kind of help keep the shape, I'll wrap it in tissue paper and put it in my box. Another pair of Levi's, these are women's. They're 550, 12, size 12 long. I think long was the key here because there's just a lot of 550s listed, a lot. So there was some damage on the hem. I, you know, of course, mentioned that in my listing. This is again going to go in the Tyvek mailer because it is over 
pound. Jeans are just heavy. I did buy them at a local thrift store for $5. Again, when I, somebody had told me, well not me, but somebody said on YouTube once to buy all the Levi's. So I was buying all the Levi's. Again, I probably had I bought them at my favorite thrift store or at the bins for a dollar or two, it would have been okay. But I didn't even like, the buyer paid $21.75. I paid $5. After fees, priority shipping, my profit is only $4.58. It's less than what I paid for it. So that's not ideal. Again, if I had paid, you know, a dollar or two for these, then my profit would have been more at the $8 mark, which is better than $4. But hey, $4.58 will buy me a coffee. I'm not too sad about that. Last item, another pair of Levi's. This time they are capris and they are 515s, I believe, uh, size 20. So again, I think that bigger size is helpful. It does have some like fraying around the pockets, but they looked pretty good other than that. So I always look for wear in between the legs and then for, especially with the stretch, which these do have spandex in them, so they're a little stretch. I always look for um, kind of, they, they get pulled across here um, in the front, especially on women's jeans. It happens on men's jeans too, but especially on women's jeans, especially on jeans that have any stretch in them. Uh, it can also happen in the back as well. So these will go in a padded flat rate. They are um, you know, smaller than regular jeans, but they were over a pound, uh, and I can put them in a padded flat rate. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I didn't tell you. Again, I bought these at my favorite thrift store for 70 cents. It's much more the price I like to pay for things. And here, my buyer paid $21.65. So very similar to the last pair of jeans, but my profit after fees and shipping is $9.68. So there's where that, the cost of goods really comes into play because that's a $5 profit difference where, you know, the, the shipping fees were just like a few cents less. The fees were just a few cents less. So really that $4 of that came in the cost of goods. So that's why I like to keep my cost of goods low. So, that's it, 22 items. I actually had something else come through as I was packing things up, which always makes me very happy, but uh, I will probably wait to ship on it. I do have three day handling time uh, because I don't love to go to the post office every day. So thank you so much for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a like, a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I make a video every Wednesday and sometimes in between and just kind of chronicling, chronicling my journey as a new reseller on eBay. So you can watch another video right here and I will see you soon.